Have you ever wondered how the temperature of a reefer trailer affects the price you pay? Let's chat about how to remain cool about your reefer shipment costs. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm a national sales rep at Anderson Trucking Service. In order to understand why the price of your reefer shipment may change, let's go over the two main types of cooling as well as the three temperature ranges. Number one, start-stop cooling. This is something similar to your air conditioning at home where you have it set to a certain temperature and once it gets to that temperature, the system shuts down. The same goes for the reefer trailer where it's gonna cost you far less if you have to use that system because the system doesn't have to continually run, which now leads us into our number two, continuous cooling. This is when the cooling system is running constantly, which ends up burning more fuel for the truck, which then ultimately ends up costing you more. Three different types of temperature ranges. Number one, protect from freeze and heat shipments. Liquids, paint, pharmaceuticals, these are just a few examples of products that need to stay protected from freezing in the winter or the unbearable heat of the summer. This temperature can be maintained relatively easily so your costs actually can stay down. Number two, the 32 to 36 degree range is for your fresh and refrigerated items such as your milk, fresh chicken, fruits and veggies. These items require a maintained temperature similar to what your home refrigerator does. So these items require a little bit more work out of the reefer cooling system versus the start and stop because it needs to maintain that temperature the entire trip. Number three, negative 20 to zero degree frozen shipments. This is ice cream, frozen potatoes, frozen vegetables. These items require the cooling system to maintain an internal temperature below freezing to keep the contents from actually thawing out. Typically, the trailers picking up on these shipments are required to be pre-cooled to the desired temperature so that the product stays frozen. These shipments typically utilize the start-stop method as the insulated walls help keep the internal temperature steady. However, the outside weather does play a factor into this a uh, 95 degree summer day will require the system to work a little harder versus a 15 degree day in the winter. To make your reefer shipments run smoother, you can cut your costs down by doing these two things. Number one, making sure that your product is pre-cooled to the temperature that you are looking to ship it in. So that's gonna help the system not have to work as hard to cool your product down. Similar to grabbing a warm 12 pack of pop off the shelf, and throwing it in your cooler with ice. It's gonna take longer for that pop to cool down. Number two, making sure the carrier's equipment is up to date and in good working condition. This is gonna help ensure that your product is going to be protected and at the correct temperature the entire trip. If you would like to learn more, you can click on the link down below in the description and we'll take you to the article titled, How Does Temperature Impact Reefer Shipping Price? On our website, you will also find the Learning Hub, which has a plethora of free resources to help you on your next shipment. Thank you and have a great day.